Lewiston, Uvalde, Sandy Hook. These little towns would have never been known to us except for the awful news of mass shootings that has taken place in them. When is it going to stop? I'm Father Steve Powick with the Glenmary Home Missioners and the novice director and the second vice president. And it always breaks my heart when these mass shootings take place. And I think so oftentimes we don't know what to do with our grief. We get lost in that grief and we say, what is happening? And we feel pain for the children that die and for the families that suffer. But what changes? What can change? I invite us today to step back from the political angles on this. Those who talk about the Second Amendment and defending the Second Amendment to defend our rights to arms, which we have. And those who will talk about gun control and how to limit guns for everyone, which also takes place. And I invite us to step back to the world of Jesus Christ, the world of the gospel, and ask us to look in the hearts of love and mercy and justice. Is there another path of dialogue, of listening, that we can do to prevent this awful shootings? Sometimes we get so tied into the gun violence of these mass shootings, we forget the real issues that take place with guns every day. Are you aware that this year, in 1923, there have been 35,000 deaths due to guns? Do you know what the largest portion of that is? It's a 19,000 or more people who die from suicide shooting themselves. Murder and unintentional shootings are 15,000. People die of gun violence on our streets, in their homes. Mothers shoot children, husbands shoot wives. Something needs to change. We can say, oh, it's not the gun, it's not the instrument, it's the people. And I would say to you, it's both. What weapons are available matters, and how easy they are to access, and what types of influence people have who purchase them. And the hearts of people also must change. We must find a way to bring about a world of peace and of justice and conflict resolution and care for the mentally ill. The world needs to change. And if we're stuck in the talk of politics, the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, independents, we won't solve this solution. As Christians, as Catholics, I invite you to step into your hearts of Jesus Christ, to search for a way of compassion. Otherwise, whose town is next? My hometown of Maple Lake? Your town? When will it stop?